bringing you the news. Now, now it's time, time for... What's New in the News? Hey guys, welcome back. It's Taylor and Haley with your What's New in the News. Cougars, today we're getting some more noteworthy news that we've missed due to the long break. Last November, a Category 7 earthquake hit Anchorage, Alaska and brought destruction to many buildings and roads. No casualties were reported, thankfully, but the effects of the earthquake continued because aftershocks continued to hit. There's a small chance that the earthquake in November was actually a pre-quake and that a bigger one might hit soon. So I have to say that the chances are low. Hopefully the people of Anchorage remain safe. Let's all send our love to CMS. Also, in sports, Clemson Tigers beat the Alabama Tide in the national championship on Monday night. Way to present our state, Clemson. Sorry to you all Alabama fans out there. Maybe next year. Also in entertainment, Bird Box was released on Netflix on December 21st and rapidly gained popularity. The movie is about an apocalyptic world and it, it is, is thrilling. thrilling. What as a mother tries to protect her children? From what? You'll have to watch to find out. Hey Haley, did you know that Bird Box was based on a 2014 novel? Wow, cool. Keep reading Cougars. Maybe one day you'll be able to turn your favorite book into a Netflix original as well. Thanks for staying tuned. Now, back to you guys. Wow, we have already had so many new faces show up to join our new team. We're so excited. Don't forget, if you're interested in joining us, to come see Miss Clear and Miss Noah by the end of the week. Oh my God, listen. I am so excited. Why are you so excited? Um, hello, because job shower and papers are out and any student who would like to sign up can get a permission slip today. But where should I go get it? Upstairs students go to Miss Reed's and downstairs students go to Miss Stevens' office. Oh, well, I'm going there as soon as I leave here. It's time for Throwback Thursday! When you think of TBT, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, history, of course. So, I have some history for you today. Here it is. It's not technically history, but it's an iPhone. See, 12 years ago, the very first iPhone was released by Steve Jobs, the CEO of Apple. These things are already 12 years old. Isn't that crazy? January 9, 2007, the iPhone came out. I was born around that time. Now, Apple is huge. Apple has already sold over 1.3 billion iPhones since then, and the company is worth $1 trillion. Holy moly, that's a lot. Who knew that the iPhone is actually a kind of a part of history now? I wonder what they'll have out in the next 12 years. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Now back to you. Well, Cougars, we are out of time. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you, See you tomorrow! Thanks, guys. This is Savannah and Amari. Now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, please remain standing and stop for a moment of silence. You may now be seated.